In the previous video, we learned how to create backup jobs. In this video, we will learn how to restore from those backups. There are many restore options that are available as well to restore from backup in the vSphere data protection of appliance and we are going to cover those options as well. We are back at the vSphere web client again and uh, we are looking at the vSphere data protection appliance running at headquarters. In the previous videos, we had uh, backed up the Ubuntu 14.04 long-term support pack pub2 machine and as you can see from the restore tab, it is uh, available to be uh, restored. So let's go through the process of restoring a backup job. So I select this and then I expand it to find out the uh, exact backup that I'll be using and I select that backup and I click on restore and I have to verify everything. Yes, that's the last backup of that virtual machine. It's the one and only actually. So what I'm going to do is agree to that and say next. So now I have the option of restoring to the uh, original location or I need or I could restore somewhere else. So let's uncheck this. And what happens now is that you have the option of a new virtual machine name and what we're going to do is we're going to call it Packed Pub 3 from backup so that it's uh, very clear. And uh, we have right now the same uh, data center that's running on our host uh, 201. We can click on uh, choose and go through this. So that's the vCenter 220 that's at headquarters. It's the uh, data center there. That data center has two different hosts there. So we can recover to a different host. So let's try and do that. I'm going to recover to host uh, 200. Do that. And here we go. So we are going to uh, recover new name to a different host. Let's look at the uh, advanced uh, options. We have the uh, data stores uh, there. And we are going to not power on the machine after it is restored. So I click on next. So one new virtual machine will be uh, restored and one new will be uh, created and I click on finish and it tells me the restore was successfully initiated. So uh, here we see that uh, the VDP restored job is uh, uh, running right now and uh, the, the snapshot has been completed and the restore job is, has, has commenced. So uh, we are going to pause until this is complete. We can see that the VDP restore job is now complete and the snapshotting has uh, been kind of undone. So here we uh, have the process uh, complete. We are now looking at the uh, vCenter server at uh, headquarters, uh, related objects, virtual machines. And uh, we can see here that uh, the Ubuntu machine packed part 3 from uh, backup has been restored. We are specified that it be uh, kept powered off. So uh, it is still uh, powered off. There is an uh, alert uh, for this that we can take a look at, but, but basically the uh, process is uh, complete. We go in there, we look at the summary, and of course there will be a virtual machine uh, Mac uh, conflict uh, because we're running in that same vCenter server. Uh, we simply uh, copied uh, or restored from backup uh, the virtual machine to a different host in the same vCenter uh, server, and uh, so obviously uh, this would be an, an issue if we started up it up the way, way it is so uh, we need to make sure that before starting it up we, we take care of the situation uh, obviously if you're doing a, a restore like this within the same vCenter uh, you would pr uh, probably uh, go back and uh, delete the original machine because there's no reason to do a restore uh, like this and keep the old machine up and running in the next video we will learn how to manage replicated backups these are in my opinion some of the most powerful capabilities that the vSphere data protection appliance has and I look forward to seeing you on that video.